Hello everyone, Dr. Priyanka Mehta from Deva Women's Clinic Chennai. Today let's talk about heavy menstrual bleeding or abnormal uterine bleeding. So for women after the age of 35 or 40, sometimes the periods become very heavy in the sense that either it is a very prolonged bleeding where they bleed for almost 7-8 days and more in a month or the bleeding is very profuse or very heavy so they bleed for three or four days but in the three or four days they have very heavy bleeding associated with clots and they also need to change more than four or five uh, pads in a day so if you are suffering from this heavy bleeding you can also become anemic that means your blood hemoglobin level can comes down and then you are not able to perform your day-to-day -day activities as well as you should because your blood is less and your hemoglobin has become less so what are the causes of this heavy menstrual bleeding let us discuss that what are the symptoms what tests you need to do and then what is the treatment available so there are four important causes for heavy menstrual bleeding one is uh, the entity called adenomyosis adenomyosis means after childbirth usually the uterus becomes a little bigger in size and then it always remains a little bulkier or a little bigger there is no tumor per se but the um, blood starts collecting in the muscle of the uterus and then that becomes a little bulky in size and this can also cause very severe pain during your menstrual cycle so much so that sometimes your quality of life is affected Another important cause is fibroid uterus where you have a tumor which is forming in the uterus. Uh, this tumor usually is not a cancer but it is the uterus basically is made up of a muscle like the heart is made up of a smooth muscle. Similarly uterus has smooth muscle so you can have a tumor arising out of it and when this fibroid is bigger in size like more than 3 or 4 or 5 centimeters then it starts to cause symptoms. Sometimes you have very severe pain dysmenorrhea. You can also have heavy menstrual bleeding sometimes you can have bleeding in between the periods also another cause is a PID or a pelvic inflammatory disease where the uterus and the uh, tubes which are next to it and the ovaries they get inflamed or infected so this is the uterus if you all know and these are the fallopian tubes which come out of the uterus and then it there's an attachment to the ovaries on both sides so an adenomyosis is uterus itself has become a little bulky fibroid means there is some tumor which is arising from either inside or on the outside layer of the uterus PID means there is infection or inflammation on the uterus. There is another entity called endometriosis. In endometriosis, again the bleeding, menstrual bleeding comes out, but some amount of bleeding also goes back. Either it goes from the tube into the ovary and that forms a cyst called an endometriotic cyst or sometimes it goes into the muscle forming adenomyosis. Otherwise, every month this endometriosis will cause severe pain and sometimes heavy bleeding also. Now how do you know what is the cause? Why are you having this heavy menstrual bleeding? You need to go to your gynecologist. She will do a pelvic examination after the pap smear and then she will advise a transvaginal scan. Now this transvaginal scan or TVS will help us to know very clearly where the problem is, whether you are having an adenomyosis, whether there is a fibroid or if there is some other infection or inflammation or sometimes the cause is only a hormonal change. So depending on the uh, probable problem, the treatment is given. If the uterus size is normal and your age is say between 40s and 50s and it is a time when the menopause also started to set in you will probably be suggested hormonal tablets after a biopsy or a tissue is taken from the endometrium to rule out any form of cancer because sometimes an endometrial cancer or the cancer of the uterus per se can also present with a heavy menstrual bleeding. If it is an adenomyosis also, sometimes you can try with medications after you have ruled out any cancer and if it is not getting treated with the medical uh, treatment, then we may need to perform a adenomyomectomy where only adenomyosis is removed or a hysterectomy. Even for a fibroid after the age of 40, we sometimes suggest myomectomy where we remove only the fibroid or sometimes we remove the uterus which is called a hysterectomy. So in the next uh, series, we will discuss about how this hysterectomy, if it is done, when it should be done and what are the different ways of doing the hysterectomy and how you recover after that. Thank you.